So Plan B was founded in 2005. After I graduated the academy, I moved to Austria for, to Vienna for two years. I failed totally as, a, as an immigrant. I was a disaster. It was not only my case. Sherban Sab was also, he went to Italy, total disaster. Victor the same, he, was, he went to Israel. So 2005 was the year when we all returned, totally broke and, and failed in every way <laughs> to Cluj. You know. I was living with my mother, they were living with their mothers, you know. And it was quite pathetic, 27 and you, you are back, your plans are totally, they, they collapse, you have no perspective, you, you back into a city, you know there is no structure. So we meet, I think, for beers and, and coffees and we said, what the hell are we doing now, you know. And um, the answer was pretty obvious, we will build our own uh, entity. And uh, this entity will have probably two or three major functions. First will be a place where you can meet and, and, and drink beers because <laughs> and, and share our, our, our failure, you know. Secondly, we will try to make a program and uh, connect to other people who are doing the same because we knew that in Hungary probably the same, in Czech Republic, in Poland, you know. So we didn't, we didn't hope too much. We were so used with the idea of, of uh, being a loser <laughs> that we, we just did it without really an ambition. The, the ambition came slowly after a while when we realized, okay, that might be something that might work. It was a whole movement, everywhere in the East. We realized that a lot of people from the Western Europe will like to come and visit, but if they don't find something organized, somebody to talk, a name, a website, something, they will... I mean, you know Cluj, you know how is if you don't have an insider there, it's just... So, as soon as we did it, um, it happened exactly what we kind of expected. People were starting to, to come and uh, ask. <laughs> if you feel that if you feel that you are totally disconnected, that the world is far, that you have no chance, and so on and so on. Organize something. Organize a church, a party, a gallery. Organize, put people together in a group with a name or something. And, and then try to build a program and, and send messages. And, and sooner or later somebody will receive them and, and will be curious to visit you. And then you have a connection and you have to explore that connection. And in, and in the end, in a few years, if you do something interesting, uh, then you have a route, then you have a, you're in, you know.